Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can patch test Polest Choice Exfoliant Peel. Now I recommend doing a patch test of your skincare products if you're being new to them so that you also can see if any sensitivity occurs or not before applying it all over your face and neck. Now we are going to do the patch test also on the upper forearm. Make sure that this area is also clean and dry. If that shouldn't be the case, use a mild soap, wash the area, rinse the area and pat the skin dry. Then you're going to use a small amount of the exfoliant peel. You don't need a lot, just use a tiny amount on your fingertip, like so. And then you're going to place it on your upper forearm. Just do like a small circle and that's already enough. Now the way that you're going to use the exfoliant peel is also leaving it on the skin for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. So this is also how you're going to do the patch test. You're now going to leave it on the skin for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. Now while also doing the patch test or like while having the product on your skin, you may come across already a slightly tingling, also slightly stinging. If that should be the case, don't worry, that's normal because you're being new to the strong exfoliant peel. However, if already during those 10 minutes it really starts to extremely sting or burn on the skin or you can also see wetness like basically around the area, then this is not a good sign. This means that you then also should immediately wash the area, rinse the area and pat the skin dry so that your skin can calm again because this basically means that the product is reacting with your skin and that you should rinse it off. Doesn't matter if the 10 minutes are already over or not. However, if nothing happens at all during the 10 minutes, then you're going to leave it on the skin for the full 10 minutes and rinse it off after the 10 minutes. Now I'm now going to also do this a bit faster so that you also can see the entire process and I'm now also going to rinse it off already with water and then pat the skin dry. So after you also have rinsed it off, you have pat the skin dry, just take a look at your skin. Do you see any redness? Do you feel any stinging or burning or maybe also blistering on the skin? If you already should see this, then please stop using the product, discontinue using it and please do not use it on your face and neck. However, to also play it safe, I recommend still, after you also have washed it off and pat the skin dry, wait 24 hours before you are deciding whether your skin is fine with the product or if you should discontinue using the product. Just to play it safe, because sometimes irritation may occur also a bit later, and so once the 24 hours have passed, you have analyzed your skin, nothing has happened at all, then this is also a way you can get started and also include it in your routine and use the mask. However, if also during the 24 hours, and like any irritation should occur, you can see that something is wrong with your skin, then please discontinue using the product. Then this means that your skin is reacting to the product in a negative way. And this is also where you should stop using the product. And so this is also how you can also do the proper patch test with a Polar Stress Exfoliant Peel. If you also now have done the patch test and everything went well, then I now also want to share with you at the end of this video how you can also properly use the exfoliating acid mask also on your face and also how you can combine it with other skincare products. So if you also like to, please also check the video out at the end of this video. Now if you also find the patch test helpful, you also know how you can do this, please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.